Roland Francois from uh, TVS in Grenoble. I'm actually going to illustrate uh, uh, what has been presented in earlier slides on a project we would work on uh, using the post state table coverage. Okay, so quickly going through the verification objectives and uh, then how the test bench has been set up. Um, uh, then we'll go through the poor state table and the PST coverage uh, to, is, to illustrate um, what could be done uh, in terms of um, poor verification. So in terms of um, the design that we have to, to verify, uh, the design is actually a subsystem which integrates a um, third IP multimedia uh, IP core. Uh, together with the control subsystem, the, the control which is here to manage the poor, uh, the poor state machines, basically. Um, there are a few poor domains. The top poor domain at subsystem level uh, can basically be on or off. And then we have the control blocks, which is basically always on except when the subsystem is off. Uh, but it's using different um, voltage supplies, so that's why it's a different power domain. And then the IP that is integrated in the subsystem. Uh, here we've got several power supplies and different voltage uh, operation, operation mode. But also within the IP, some blocks uh, may not be needed all of the time or uh, may not be used at uh, full speed with full voltage. So there's also different power domains inside the, 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 the IP. In terms of power features, so the, the most basic one which is used in this design is the power switch, whether a power domain is on or off which requires, uh, as explained in previous presentations, isolation saves. There's also a multi-voltage um, power supply, uh, which implies level shifters. Uh, in some cases, uh, the power that the level shifters are um, bidirectional. The design also used DVFS, dynamic voltage and frequency scaling, uh, to actually set the voltage as um, the most appropriate uh, in terms of uh, the, the use case uh, and set the frequency as well. So there's about 12 power domains and um, as we've seen in previous slides, um, this could lead to uh, millions of uh, possible states. Uh, in our case, only about uh, 250, 300 um, states were valid and used. So hopefully we didn't need to go through all the um, billion states. Um, now, if you think about transitions, uh, this is <laughs> the question, actually, uh, it could be huge to go through all the different transitions. So in terms of verification, um, so there, there is one subset of the verification which is purely functional uh, using and developing use cases and test sequences to actually fulfill the functional coverage and, uh, to cover the different state machines. Even the poor state machine could be verified in functional mode, but then you don't know in which uh, voltage you are in. Now, if you really want to be sure that you've covered um, the, the verification, the, the poor features of your design, you need to cover the PST. So we have used the PST coverage out of the tool to exhaustively verify all valid states of the design. 
test bench is uh, kind of a classical one uh, with um, BFM, so verification IPs, uh, including it also includes the, the assertions, which is all the modeling required in the in the standard uh, functional test bench. What we see here is we also need um, block to control the power supplies. And we run this test bench in a power aware simulator, uh, both using the RTL and UPF descriptions uh, together. So the test bench part, which controls the, the, um, the power, we have used the, the functions which are provided by the tools. So this is not UPF, this is provided by, by the tool to actually control the power supply. So it could be either off, so here we, we could switch a power supply to off, or we can control one power supply with a specific voltage. The power state table, uh, so here is an example of one power state table uh, of the design. So top line, uh, so top line, we see that the first state is everything off, while the next uh, state is uh, only one domain is on. And the more you use the design, so if you run the 3D engine, then everything is on. And you see that there are actually different values uh, depending on different use cases. So we want to cover the power states. So we see here with the yellow cross uh, the different power states which are described in the design. We want to cover them so we develop tests to reach the different power states. The issue is okay. I've got an issue with the slides. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the issue is, uh, sorry for that, um, when you move from one state to another state, you actually run a test sequence which actually reach intermediate states which might not be final states that the design uh, should be in when working. Uh, but these states actually need to be implemented in the UPF because the design goes through them. Uh, and these states, uh, I mean, they are not part of the, um, the, the states that the design should run on, so uh, designers tend to, to forget them. Um, also, starting from reset, we should be sure that we can actually uh, have a path to reach uh, uh, initial state, uh, starting from ev everything off. So we've developed some tests, uh, then analyzed the poor state table coverage given by the tool. Um, um, obviously, we were not perfect the first run and found some uh, holes in the test we developed. So we see here, okay. We see here that uh, actually the tool is giving us indication that uh, some states uh, have not been covered in the poor state table. Uh, so we analyzed this and found out that there was a missing test sequence that we then implemented to, to fulfill the, the entire poor state table. So I have a very similar conclusion to uh, the previous presentation, if my slide is okay, okay. Um, the power implant verification is uh, as essential and as important as functional verification of the RTL itself. Um, the UPF needs to be simulated together with the RTL, and you also need to carefully 
uh, think about the um, test sequences that you're going to run to exercise both the features and the um, poor states and transitions. The PST coverage analysis uh, can be used to uh, actually identify uh, test sequences holes and then add uh, the unspecified uh, poor sequences in the UPF when you reach um, uh, when you reach um, transitional states. <coughs>